Alrighty. So I'm going to make a couple more tabs here. This is just kind of an addendum to uh, number two video. And uh, just um, I'm just going to do these little things and see how... Uh, make sure you guys that didn't quite get it there the first little time around get it. So I'm going to put a plain along path on this little inside path. I want to go physical. And I want this to be three quarters of an inch. And that's where that tab's going to be. Probably I'm going to turn the um, canvas on here and see if there's a, maybe a need for one here in the middle. And it looks like there might be. So I'm going to uh, put one in here. Now here, since it's kind of the halfway point, we can go all the way to this point where it snaps. Just 14 inches. And I'm going to and I'm going to uh, divide this number by two, and that's going to put me at the halfway point. And I'm going to minus three eighths. No, yes, that's what I want. Yeah. So now I don't know where it went. That's definitely the wrong way. Okay, let's undo that. That was taking me all the way back. I wanted it to be right here yeah that's a totally different number there nine inches I guess I had the wrong path divide that by two and minus three-eighths of an inch and I'm gonna do the same thing except this time I'm gonna add three-eighths of an inch to that point divided by two plus three-eighths of an inch and then that will give me a three-quarter inch tab right there in the middle now I'm gonna put a tab that kind of centers on that little um, that uh, former back there or bulkhead depending on if you have built ships or not and that at that point where that curves I think is where I'm gonna put it so I'm gonna put um, minus three-eighths which that puts it on the other side. And this one I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do it plus 3 eighths. And go plus 3 eighths. So that gives me a 3 quarter inch tab right there. Now. I'm going to go ahead and put one right here. Where. They put this little brace here. They didn't put formers in the back. They were saving weight. And honestly, with uh, with this type of construction, with the tab and lock construction, which I don't know if this original was or not, but you almost don't need those formers um, because the, the way the uh, top and the bottom inset inside the fuselage sides, they act like formers. So I'm going to go about right here. And... I'm going to add three eighths of an inch. That's going to put me there. Let's. Uh, we're going to get close to that, and we're just kind of guessing at this point, but that's going to work for this. Okay. There is. Um, there's that one. I'm going to do again plain along path. Click right here. I'll go kind of to the end right there. I'll make sure I am uh, pretty good there. Get this where I'm perpendicular with my view. Yeah, 2.389 minus 3 eighths. I think I'm going to have to change this uh, to plus 3 eighths. Now, we're going to do the same thing right here. I think that number was 0.38, but that's fine. Was it 2.38? Not too sure. All right, we're just going to guess at where this one is. I 
I could have uh, written down that number, but there we go. And there may be a way to um, to actually pull or measure from that last plane, but I don't know what it is. And then in the back here, I like to uh, make it a little bit longer because it gets real thin when I cut the slots for the um, for the fins for the fin and uh, all this impenage parts back here. So I'm gonna make this two inches, not 23, two. There we go, and that should be good. Now all we have to do is uh, come back in here and. Uh, Create our tabs. I think I want to uh, turn this off. And I want to turn this off. And we're going to go ahead and turn the canvases off. And there we go. Let's go to split body here. We want to split it with this tool. We want to split with this tool, 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 this tool. This tool and that tool. And we're going to hit OK. We're going to come in here and remove all these extra little bits that we no longer need. Remove. 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 And if I stay close to this mic, it's going to work a little better. Remove, and there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and remove this other little strip that I'm not going to use since I'm going to mirror all these bodies. And somewhere is my top sheeting. That's it. Go to Combine. Select the operation as Join. We don't need the uh, tools. We're going to not keep them. Now we're going to select... Oh, wait. Before we do that, we need to... Um, mirror this. Let's do that. I'm going to turn all these construction lines off. I'm going to hit S. Bring up my design shortcuts. Select mirror. And I want this, 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 this one, this one. That's a little small. This one. And my mirror plane is going to be that. And there we have it. Let's turn that off. And let's turn this back on. Combine body, that body, that body, that body, that body, that body, that body. All these little tabs. This is so repetitive. And change the operation to join. And we don't want to keep the tools. There we have it. And let's turn on the fuselage slides. We're going to combine that. And we're going to change the operation to cut. Keep tools, select that, cut those tabs out, and we'll do it for the other side, right here, and use this to cut, keep the tools, boom, there we have it, there we have it, folks, just like that, and we're going to continue this little uh, charade, and until we get all this done, we'll turn this off. I'm going to go ahead and delete these strips that I do not need. And this one here. Okay, let's turn this off. We don't need our top sheetings on. And we're going to create um, these tabs here. Same way, plane along path. Select here. I'm going to go all the way to here. We have to turn construction on. And we'll turn off all these other planes that I no longer need. And that's physical. Let's go 0.75 to there. And these little short pieces are good. If you want to repeat that plane along path, you can right click. Go repeat plane along path. Select our path. Going to go all the way to the end and minus 0.75. And that gives us there. Split body. Split this with these uh, planes we created. 
we want to remove that piece that we have selected and we're going to mirror these tabs select these little bodies here here the mirror plane we want to select that and then we want to combine change operation to join keep no longer keep the tools we don't want them in this operation and there we go now let's do the last little bit on this piece here so plane along path select here and we want this to be three quarters let's um let's turn on our top sheeting piece so we can kind of see where um, we can kind of line these up a little bit they don't have to be perfect if you want to make them perfect you can measure all that out yourself but for me I don't need them to be perfect 5.375 I'm gonna remember that number 5.375 plus 0.75 and that's a three-quarter inch tab right there and select that inside path there yep that's another narrow one we'll go 11.125 and I am going to create another one here and I want to come from the other way There we go. That was 11.125 plus 0.75. There we go. And we've got the back back there to do, and that is it. Plane along path. Let me show you another way you can do it. Since you right click and you see plane along path, here's a little trick. Just by right clicking and dragging to that area where that that part of the menu is you can um, you can repeat that and I'm gonna put this one yeah let's make it at two inches and there we go let's go to split body we want to split this this tool this tool this tool with all these planes say okay remove these little parts and there we have it let's um, turn this guy off turn these planes off and I want to mirror this I'm gonna hit S mirror select the bodies that I want to mirror that's all of them select my plane that I want to uh, my mirror plane select OK go to combine this operation is join Join all these. Do not keep the tools. And there we go. Now let's uh, combine the bodies with the uh, or the fuselage sides with this these two uh, tabbed parts that we've created. This tool, oops, we do not want join. We want cut. Keep tools. And it looks like it's going to let us select two. Good and we're gonna rinse and repeat on this other side combine select that and select that and there you have it there you have it here's our hatch our top sheeting and our bottom sheeting and all that is tabbed in like we want it Hopefully that's a good clarification of uh, that whole operation where you get to. Oh, looky here, we have a we have a strange one here. Something is not quite happening here. Let's see. Okay, that's there, but for some reason that tab didn't work. Let's repeat that operation and see. 
some days weird things happen in Fusion Land. But hey, that was good. There we go. So there it is. There's your top and bottoms all tabbed in and ready to build a nice, strong, and straight fuselage. Thank you. I just thought I would do, do a little more clarification with that in case people didn't quite get it the first time.